No, I don't want none. I did this. I did this. I don't even want direct TV. I want to hear the sales pitch. He, he come in hard. He jumped on me. I'm standing there like this. I'm finna teach him something though. He didn't know it, which I did. He said, uh, he looked at me, sir, direct TV. He went into his pitch. I said, no, I'm not interested. Now I'm, I done stopped. No, I'm not interested. I'm waiting on him. He going to another pitch. No. Well, sir, why not? I said, well, my mother has it. When it rains, it stops. I said, no, I'm not interested in it. I'm not going to pay for direct TV cable when I can't watch it when it's raining. And I told him, he's, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on another pitch. Hold on a second. Guess what? Check this out. Well, sir, it doesn't do that anymore. It used to do that. I said, I don't watch cable. <laughs> That's what I told him. I mean, I'm not lying to him. I said that because I watch YouTube. I don't watch a lot of TV because I have to, I have to study. You know what I'm saying? I just love Give you an example. The last seven, eight years of Super Bowl, my TV's on. I'm like this. It's on, but I don't pay attention to that. I'm not going to sit here and watch millionaires make money. I'm working to become and help other people become by showing them step by step by step by step how to do it. Why? Because I have millionaires that coach me and mentor me. Now they're going to tell you how, how this works. This is attraction. They have something called the law of attraction. When I left here in 2002, I went to Atlanta. I said in my mind, I'm going to be the millionaire. Then I'm sitting, I'm sitting on my pool table at home. Why? Well, I want to be a millionaire. So I need to meet one for them to coach me. Guess what? I met two within a couple of years. Guess what? They introduced me into another one. I met this black guy. He was making $100,000 a month when I met him. He was making that in 2004. I looked at him like, what? $100,000 a month? And I asked them because he was busy. He was in a room like this. And I walked in, they introduced me. I shook his hand and then we walked out because he was in a meeting with a guy. He was coaching a guy. So I asked him when we went outside, I said, wow, what is he? How, what? Huh? I couldn't even get it. Then I met his other business partner. The guy was 31. A black guy, retired, guy named Brian. I said, Dude, wh what? How are you retired at 31? I couldn't wrap my mind around this. And so they took me out. They, you know, we used to eat. They used to coach me. I started going to the bookstore, the library. I used to live at the bookstore. I used to go to the bookstore on Sundays when they opened at 10. When I left, they were turning off the lights. That's how long I stayed in there because I couldn't afford to read all these books. But they'll let you sit and read it for free. You know there are books called How to Be a Millionaire at the bookstore and nobody reads them. I used to live in a bookstore reading them because I left Atlanta. I don't have these millionaire mentors with me anymore, but they gave me a foundation. They told me, they said, Tim, you want to be successful? I said, yeah. They said, you need to write a book because you want to speak, you want to coach, you want to train. I said, yeah. They said, well, a book will give you credibility. I said, well, I don't want credibility because of the book. I want it because I want to, I have a desire and a passion to help people because they help me. Why? Because givers gain. Sharing is what? Caring. That's why. That's my. You see what I'm saying? So when your why is big enough, you can achieve see, your goals, your dreams. Your dreams is what? A goal with a deadline. That's all it is. This is the problem I have. The reason I said that there are a lot of people saying that, but they don't teach you like I do. Dream is go with a deadline. You can have anything. This and it. I'm going to tell you one that y'all probably already know. Do you know this stuff right here? I don't keep a lot in my pocket because I carry credit cards and debit cards. Do you know this money? You know what they say about this money? They say money what? Money talks. Guess what? It don't. Money can't talk. But people say it because it sounds like, yeah, money. I got money, this, 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 this. No, money don't talk. They don't talk. But they say that when they go in the box, don't buy me a car, I got cash. Money talks. No, it don't. But they don't understand the, the definition of it, the real meaning behind it. This stuff can't talk. But guess what it can do? It can hear. Money goes where it's called, it stays where it's welcome.
Once you understand, once you have a lot, you'll get a lot, guess what?